Hello again, this is Kyle. Let's write some code. Now, I did a video on Electron about a year ago, and since then, 1.0 has been released and a lot has changed. And if you just so happen to be watching this a year later and Electron 2.0 has released, be aware that the things in this video may have changed. Anyways, on to the good stuff. Be sure to have Node.js installed on your machine and then go to your terminal and in a folder type npm init to create a package.json file to save your dependencies too. And next we want to install Electron pre-built. So we'll say npm install Electron dash pre-built. And this will get us a, a pre-built version of Electron all set up for us so we can, uh, we can get up and running quickly without having to build it ourselves. So once that has installed, we want to go over to our editor and we want to create a file um, called main.js. Now this will be the main entry point to our desktop application. From here, we can run stuff in the background, open new windows, or even sit ready as like a tray icon or something like that. Now Electron provides many APIs and uh, to access to those APIs, we're going to create a variable here called Electron and we're going to require uh, the API, if I can spell require correctly, we're going to require the uh, Electron um, the Electron API here to access those. Now Electron is an object and so we want to pull off a couple of things on that object. We want to pull off the Electron app and the Electron uh, dot browser window uh, APIs off those to use those. Since we have ES6 available to us here, we can do that uh, e more easily with destructuring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these little curly braces and I'm going to pull out the app from the Electron object. And then I'm also going to pull out a uh, browser window here. Or more simply, it's just add a comma and pull both of those out from this uh, Electron object at the same time. So now that we have those variables, we can use them. So what we want to do is we want to say when our app is ready, when everything has loaded up here and, and, is, and is ready to go, we're going to call this uh, function here uh, on ready to create a new browser window. And so we can do that by saying we'll create another variable here called uh, win, uh, short for window. And we'll say new browser window. And then we'll just give it some width uh, and height of 600. Now this window is just like uh, a window in Chrome, um, the web browser, um, where you can load a URL into it. So we'll say load URL, and you can put in here, you can put you know Google, uh, anything you would normally put into the URL bar. But what we want to do is we want to load a file from our local project here instead uh, to load up um, as the window when, when we load this window. So to do that, I'm going to use a template string by using these accents here, and I'm going to say file to specify the file system. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say underscore underscore dir name, uh, which means from the directory name of this file itself, uh, we're going to load a file relative to that. And so we're just going to load this file called index.html uh, here. So let's go ahead and create that file saying index.html. And this is just like any other uh, web page you would build. Uh, you can load up any kind of uh, style sheets or script tags and HTML that you like into it. I'm here, I'm just going to put in some text, an h1 tag, a big nice giant gur. So now we're ready to run our application, but let's go over to our package.json file first. And in the script section of our package.json, we want to add a start script here um, that will just make it easier. We can type the same command over and over uh, to, to run our application when, whenever we want to run it. And so in the start script here, I'm going to say electron main.js. This is our main entry point to our application. So electron is a binary provided by the electron uh, pre-built dependency that we installed. And so when we run npm start now, it will run our main.js file with electron. So I'll type npm start here in my terminal and you'll see electron pops up and displays our message. So now this really is just a Chrome window. Uh, it just doesn't have the, the typical toolbars and stuff. And to prove that to you, uh, here when we open up the window, I'm going to say win web contents to access the contents of that window. Uh, open dev tools. And so this is just going to open up the, the development tools that you normally would get uh, when debugging with Electron. And there you see the debugger and all the information. And this is actually really great uh, when you're debugging your Windows. You can do the, the typical debugging flow that you would with any other uh, um, web page application in Chrome. So from our HTML file, this really is just an HTML file. From here, we can load up Bootstrap, jQuery, React, Ember, just like any other web page. But for me personally, I like using modules from NPM for my user interface. 
So I tend to create a corresponding JavaScript file for each window in my app and load it like such, where I say script, script, require, and I give it a JavaScript file that corresponds with the window name. So index.html has a corresponding index.js file that I'm going to create right now. So now from here, I'm going to add a button to my page, and I can do that by creating the button. So I'm going to say button equals document that create elements button. And the text content of the button will just say open window, because that's what we're going to do. Uh, and now we can append this uh, button to our body. So let's say document body append. I really cannot spell today. Document body append child button. And so now when we run our app with npm start, you'll see we have a button on our window uh, that says open window. Now it's important to understand that Electron has at least two different processes running. One is the main process, and you can that can be represented here through our main.js file. Now this process handles you know the life cycle of the app, the app opening and the app closing. And then the other process is the renderer process. And so that's the actual Chrome, the, the, the window and the frame. So now there's many cases where we want the renderer to talk to the main process such as uh, here where we want to have it uh, open up a new window. Now we can just say new window here, but uh, we want to have the main process do it because it has more control over handling the life cycle or you know, maybe our, our model or our database is, is sitting there in our main process and so we want the main process to handle everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect up this button uh, to when we click it, we're gonna tell the main process to open up a new window that we're gonna create. So now the first thing we need to do is we need to provide that interface on our main process. And so to do that, we're gonna use the exports keyword to export uh, an API. And so we're gonna say, we're gonna create a new function here called uh, X open window here. And so this will just be a function that when called, we will create another window here. So we'll say win equals new browser window. And this one's gonna be a little smaller. So we'll say 400 and then height 200. We'll make it a little bit smaller. And this one's gonna load up a different URL, uh, a different file here. So we'll say file, we use our expression to reference the current directory name of, of our project here. Uh, and let's just open up a, a file named bear.html. So whenever this method is called on our main process, it will open up this new window. So in order to call this open window API on our main process from our renderer process, we need to access something called a remote. So to do that, we could say, we can create a variable here called remote, and we can require the electron here. An electron in the renderer process has this, uh, this, ob or this uh, API here called remote. And so from remote, we can access our main process here by saying main, remote require, so we're going to require from the remote this main.js file here. So in doing so, this main gives us access to everything we have exported on this process here. And so we can simply call this function, uh, we can call this open window function now here in our renderer process now that we have access to it through our remote main. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say button add event listener, click so use ES6 because why not? Um, and so when this button is clicked, we're going to open up that window. So we'll say main open window and call this API on our, uh, our main process here. So let's give it a go, see how it works. I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm going to type npm start to open it up. And now I'm going to click open window and it works, except we don't have the window because we forgot to create the file. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, so we named this uh, bear.html, so I'm going to create that HTML file, bear.html. And then I'm just going to write a silly message, I'm a bear HTML file, uh, just in case you weren't sure. And now let's start it up again by typing in npm start. So this time when I click our open window button, we get that actual uh, bear HTML file. So I hope this has helped you get started with Electron 1.0. And if it has, then share the video and help others get started with Electron 1.0. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.